Hey moms, this is Jasmine Field and I'm really excited to share with you a concept called hidden storage that has helped our family for the last year to maintain all of the learning tools and toys that we've acquired in our home for our children's benefit and learning. I want to show you a picture of my living room and tell you that on August 3rd at 815, I'm going to be going over more concepts like this about how to store things in an orderly way so that your home still feels like a home. So register at a hint of jasmine.com. It will be a Zoom call at 8.15 August 3rd, and the name of the class is Creating Unique Play Spaces for Your Children. So take a look at this living room pan and tell me where you think my kids play the most. So right here we have our two living room chairs, a little mini library, a piano, and a little basket of some toys in the corner there. But you're not viewing the place where my kids are the most occupied because it's hidden all the way over here. So from the front door, you can't tell this is here. And that's the way that I like it. In many cases, we wanna help our kids to explore the world around them, but we don't wanna be tripping over all their things all the time. So I wanna talk about this concept with you and more concepts for if you have a smaller house environment. Here's another example of something that we do to minimize a lot of toy storage out in the open. This is one of our thematic bins that we have named our reptile bin. So what we do when we have a thematic bin is we stay within the realm of that theme, only adding items that have to do with that subject. And what we've done is we've also combined this into a social skills activity, and we learn things about sharing, forgiveness, understanding one another, and embracing who we are, even when we're around kids that have different attitudes, or in this case, Cheesy the Snake, who has a really troublemaker mind. But we always make sure that we welcome him in love and remember we don't want to be like him. So I want to talk to you about this and more on August 3rd and I hope that you'll join me. This is a great start off to the new year because I'll be sharing some other tips about how to create playstations in your home so that your kids can self-occupy and it'll be an easier way for you to jump in with them and create another activity that promotes bonding and understanding where they are in their social skills and academic levels. Join me at a hint of jasmine.com August 3rd, 815, creating unique play spaces for your kids. I'd love to see you there. Talk to you soon.